here's a five step plan to start reversing your type 2 diabetes for beginners. If you have type 2 diabetes and you'd like to reverse it but don't know where to start, you have to watch this video. A plant predominant diet is optimal for reversing insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes. And I've helped over 600 people, actually now it's almost 700 people now, to reverse insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes. So if you want to reverse type 2 diabetes with a plant predominant diet, then remember all these steps in this video. Step one is to eliminate or minimize high fat foods. High fat diet, especially high saturated fat diet, are one of the biggest culprits of insulin resistance, which is the root cause of type 2 diabetes. And if you understand what insulin resistance is, you'll understand that it is caused by the buildup of fatty acids in your liver and in your muscle cells. And therefore, by eliminating or minimizing high fat foods like butter, cream, cheese, fried foods, fast foods, you can increase insulin sensitivity and start reversing insulin resistance. Step two is to add fiber with whole unprocessed plants. The high intake of fiber and low intake of saturated fat is one of the biggest flags a plant predominant diet has towards insulin resistance. Focus on fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and legumes, and these foods are naturally high in fiber and low in saturated fat. Fat. Therefore, golden combination. Make sure they're minimally processed as the least processed they are, the higher in fiber and the lower in glycemic index will be. Number three, choose low glycemic index foods first. Amongst whole and processed plant-based foods, even though they're healthy, there are some higher glycemic foods and they may be harder for your body to process, especially if you don't have great carbohydrate tolerance or you still have insulin resistance. So what I would do is to choose lower glycemic foods first, like blueberries, barley, quinoa, guava, farro, and then slowly work your way up to medium glycemic index foods and then higher glycemic index foods like pineapple or potatoes or bananas. These foods are still healthy. They're just higher in glycemic index and you might want to wait till you have great insulin sensitivity to process them. Step number four is to include exercise. In our reversing diabetes program, we actually have a certified personal trainer to help people plan an exercise plan that works specifically for them because physical activity is a proven way to lower your blood sugar or to help you regulate your average blood sugar in general. And it can also help you fight stress and increase your immunity. Not to mention, it can also help you improve circulation as well, which is something a lot of people with type 2 diabetes struggle with. So make sure you get some exercise in. Choose an exercise that you love or are interested in learning and commit to it on a regular basis. When you're planning for exercise, think about what will work for you, when does it work for you, and why does it work for you. Step number five is getting off diabetic medications. So you've lowered your blood sugar, reversed your insulin resistance, now what? Make sure you check your blood sugar regularly and get your A1C according to schedule so that your doctor can see your improvements in lowering your blood sugar. Your doctor will be the one to be able to get you off these medications as he or she sees that you don't need them as you improve your insulin sensitivity. Because the lower your blood sugar, the lesser is the need for diabetic medications. In fact, if your blood sugar gets lower to a certain level, your doctor has to get you off of medications. Otherwise, it'll increase the risk of hypoglycemia episodes. Remember, diabetic medications are a band-aid. It may temporarily help you regulate your blood sugar, but it is not the ultimate solution to type 2 diabetes, a healthy lifestyle is. If your body is still producing insulin, you have the chance to be completely off of diabetic medications. And you can find out whether your body is still producing insulin by asking your doctor about the C-peptide test. If you want to be inspired by others to start reversing your diabetes, watch my YouTube interview playlist with people who were able to do just that. And if you'd like to learn more about the science, and steps on how I help people reverse type 2 diabetes and insulin resistance, make sure you watch my free reversing diabetes training. Link is in the description below or in my bio and I'll see you guys there.